Oh, hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Motors and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today, I'm cleaning up my mess over there. I have solar panels on top of my roof rack and that powers a battery that powers my 13,000 pound winch. The winch is used to pull up tractors and equipment with my ramps. So it makes it easy on me so I don't have to use a lot of strength. That's the setup I have. The solar panels on the roof also recharge the battery without any problems. And it's also hooked up to a light bar that I have on the roof rack as well. So it's a great setup, but sometimes the battery drains because I have so many things attached to it. I'm just happy that I'm not draining my battery for my starter, for my car, because it's a whole separate electrical system. I'm gonna clean up the attachments over there a little bit more. I got this coping that I'm gonna make it look nice and neat. But in the meantime, I wanna show you the new battery I got today. It's from Lytime. It's a LifePo4 battery. Do you guys know what a LifePo4 battery is? LifePo4 stands for lithium ion phosphate. Those are different from regular lithium ion, alkaline, AGM batteries, and the such. Definitely way better than a regular alkaline lead battery. LifePo4 batteries last from 10 to 15 years and also can be recharged fully up to 5,000 times or more. They're also very lightweight and very stable, and it also has a battery management system in it, the BMS system, where it automatically stops the charging if you're overcharging or if it feels like it's unstable, it'll shut it down by itself. The BMS is an all very modern batteries these days, and you can't get more modern now than a lithium ion phosphate battery. These are the best. In the box are your user manual and instructions, but there really is nothing to it. Top insulation, post bolts here. And to attach terminals to these batteries, it's just simple screws made especially for these batteries. So never lose these. The battery itself. And it comes with a nice little handle. Now given the size of this, you would think it's heavy, right? It's not heavy at all because LifePo 4 batteries are just a fraction of the weight of regular batteries. So there it is right there. This is a Lytime LifePo 4, 12.8 volt, 100 amps per hour, LifePo 4 battery, lithium ion phosphate, better than lithium ion, that's correct. As you can see, people use these for your boats. It could power your trolling motor, uh, RVs, if you have solar panels, it could be a uh, electrical storage unit. You can have three or four of these things uh, wired up in a parallel series. This is outdoor power. If you get an inverter or whatever, you can uh, use your 110 AC power through this. And as you can see here on the top terminals, little caps and there are threaded screws that go right in there. Easy connections with a nice handle to carry it. But like I said, it's not heavy at all. We're gonna install this into my area where I have a winch and solar panels. And also it's wired to a front light bar. So I finished my solar panel wiring and the coping that I have where the wires go into that go down there into this area. And now I'm going to install the new battery. So here we go. The new Lytime LiPo 4 battery. Just to, we'll just put it right here. The 
bottom here is a rubber mat so it won't slide around. And then you just remove the caps here. And then I have these wires here which uh, are attached to my light bar in the front, right? And you'll simply put negative to negative, positive to positive with the attachment terminal bolts that are provided. And so once that's hooked up, I'll have my light bar that uh, will work powered by this new Lytime battery. And um, when I need to use my winch over here, my 13,000 pound winch, I'll simply clip these alligator clips onto the terminals. And now my winch will work powered by the Lytime LifePo 4 battery. And then when I'm not using it, I'll take these two terminals here and connect them and then the solar panels on my roof rack will recharge my Lightime LiPo 4 battery. And none of this is attached to the starting motor of my car. So uh, I will have ample power for my accessories and also not affect the charging or the uh, draining of my regular car battery. Fantastic idea. So this is my idea on how to use LifePo 4. But like I said, if you're camping and you have a camper with a refrigerator and a stove and you need to power pumps and electricity for the lights in your camper, uh, to power pumps for your sewage, for your toilet, for your water supply, all those things, the optimal way to do it is to use a few LifePo 4 batteries and you wire them up in, in parallel series. And that way you have ample power for your camping. Um, if you have solar panels, this also is a, an ideal way for you to store the energy and use it when you need it, as opposed to not being able to store it and the energy just being used just when it's sunny. So great product and uh, you got, you're all gonna be seeing uh, LifePo 4 batteries coming up more popular in the future right now i'm telling you about it right now if you don't already know about life pull 4 batteries these are the way to go they are a little bit more expensive than regular agm or alkaline lead acid batteries of course but in retrospect they last two to three times longer like i said this could last well over 10 years with more than 5,000 rechargers so here are the included bolts that come with it a positive and a negative cap, two washers, and two M-series bolts, stainless steel. So we'll go ahead and attach the negative first. I don't know, I just feel like it's safer. There, There is another way to do it. I just, uh, I do the negative first and then the positive. It's a Phillips, or you can use, it looks like a half inch socket or something, or if you have an adjustable wrench. It doesn't have to be super tight, just more than hand tightening. Also, this doesn't corrode as regular alkaline batteries do, because there's no acid in it, you know? At least that's sealed, that won't come out. So this will always be clean, but you could always Put some dielectric grease on here anyway, just to give it a better contact, as well as uh, avoid corrosion. So we'll put this one on now. It always makes me nervous when we put on <laughs> the negative, uh, the positive. But as you see, I have no circuits on it, so there's no reason for anything else to happen. You just never try to touch it at the same time, or while you're touching the positive, don't touch ground anywhere. Otherwise, you'll electrocute yourself. Or you get a shock. I don't think you'll die. Yeah, you might die. And now we just tighten the positive. There, that's tight enough. And there we go. We're installed. And if you wanted to, you 
place these little caps on here just to remind yourself what's in positive and what's negative, right? So now let's test the winch and my lights and see if they work. So first we're gonna test the winch and see if it works. So like I said, when I wanna use my winch, I take my two alligator clips that are attached to the winch, right? And I'll go ahead and put it on negative to negative, positive to positive. And I have my remote control. I'll turn it on and see if it works. Fantastic. When I'm not using my winch, the solar panels on the roof of my car are wired down to those. These are the two alligator clips that are attached to my solar panels. So I simply have them like that. And now the sunlight will be charging the solar panels with the electricity being stored in my new Lifetime LifePo 4 battery. Well, how do you know it's charging, right? Well, that's why you have a multimeter and you test it. And as you can see, clearly says 13.5 volts. Being that this battery is a 12.8 volts, you can see that 13.5 is going into it. So now my Lifetime LifePo 4 battery is always charged whenever I need it all for free from the power of the sun. And let's test my light bar on my roof rack with my remote control. Let's go. Flash, strobe, off, and just on. Awesome. So how about that guys, huh? The new Lifetime LifePo 4 battery, 12.8 volts at 100 amps per hour. Great storage for your electricity if you have solar panels. Great for your trolling motor of your boat. If you go camping, it'll power everything in your camper. You can recharge this thing more than 5,000 times of complete recharging. And they last between 10 and 15 years. Also very lightweight, very stable with a BMS system in it. You never have to really worry about it. Just throw it in here. Use it when you need it. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. We'll see you guys all next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers!